Fern Bay. But now let us move along the coast as far as Brighton, where Sir Alma Hunter Weston again takes the salute at a review of divisions at this famous seaside resort. Leaving the seaside, let us go down into Buckinghamshire and take a halt at Hewenden Manor, the home of the famous Benjamin Disraeli, Earl of Beaconsfield. Standing in front of the house is the Secretary General of the Order, Sir Percival Wilkinson, who at the time of this review was acting Chief Commissioner of the Brigade. He is inspecting the Buckinghamshire Division, of which Major Darvel Smith, the Brigade Secretary, is County Commissioner. The recruits at the time came in for his commendation and Sir Percival was most highly interested in a stalwart young cadet. Now from Hewenden, let us travel to Winchester, where by special permission of the bishop, a service was held in that beautiful old cathedral. An inspection was also held the same day, and here is General Sir John Duncan, a commissioner of the brigade, inspecting the division who were drawn from the Hampshire and Dorsetshire division. Inspections and parades go on like this all over the country. And now we find ourselves back in Hyde Park, London, which is the recognized parade ground of the city of London and metropolitan area. Notable high personages take the salute each year. And here is a Lord Mayor of London, together with his officers of the corporation, arriving to take the salute at an annual inspection. On these occasions, from seven to 10,000 ambulance men and nurses take part. The annual inspection in London is always during the month of June. And now before us is His Royal Highness, the Duke of Connaught, Grand Prior of the Order, on another of these annual inspection days. We notice here the sub-prior with His Royal Highness. The Duke of Connaught has been the Grand Prior for many years, and we earnestly hope that he will be spared for many more to be amongst us. During the inspection, the camera caught a special glimpse of the Earl of Scarborough, and Major General Sir Percival Wilkinson near the saluting base. His Royal Highness Prince Arthur of Connaught, like his father the Duke, takes a very great interest in the work of the Order and the Brigade. And now we see upon another occasion the Prince carrying out the duties of inspecting officer. Prince Arthur made a close inspection of the whole of the divisions on the parade ground. He was specially interested in some of the ex-service men, and he made a point of specially meeting the nursing sisters from overseas. Great interest taken in our work by the royal family and their keen desire to help the sick and the injured cannot be more truly emphasized than by the marvelous review of the St. John Ambulance Brigade and Nursing Divisions by Her Most Gracious Majesty Queen Elizabeth in this Brigade Jubilee year 1937. Her Majesty was received by Major General the Earl of Shaftesbury and Major General Sir Percival Wilkinson. The parade was under the command of Major General Sir John Duncan, the Chief Commissioner of the St. John Ambulance Brigade in the United Kingdom, who was accompanied by Colonel Sleeman, commanding the overseas contingent. 
These overseas contingents came from every corner of the empire and they were splendid examples of those who carry on the work of St. John in our far-flung outposts. The whole spirit of the desire to do all that is humanly possible for suffering mankind was exemplified in every single one of those thousands of men and women who took part in the parade. During the afternoon, Her Majesty received the Surgeon-in-Chief, Dr. Corbett Fletcher, and she also received the senior officers and nurses, who by their long and good service had been selected to be presented to her. Her Majesty had a most kindly word for each one of those presented, and to many of them she spoke of their homelands, which she had visited with His Majesty when they were the Duke and Duchess of York. The Queen asked many questions of the Chief Commissioner and she was especially keenly interested to learn of some of the newer divisions which have been formed in recent years. It was a wonderful review and the sight of these thousands of voluntary and all parts of the Empire marching past the saluting base was one which will be remembered with great pride by all who were privileged to attend this impressive occasion. Her Majesty, from time to time, paid high compliment to the bearing of the men and the nurses. The Queen was most pleased to see so many cadets, both boys and girls, taking part in the parade. Her Majesty has always had the work of the ambulance service and the nursing divisions at heart. She has given magnificent service to our cause. And what greater honour could we have had than for her personally to inspect the brigade in this her coronation year. It is a grand story and it will never end. And whilst we have this magnificent support of the royal family, our endeavours are truly blessed. Now, men and women of St. John, we leave you to carry on your wonderful work on behalf of the Christian faith, giving your great aid to suffering humanity. And may you forever have in your heart the fervent prayer, God save the King. <laughs>